First up, though, nice to see you, Denise. I haven't seen you for a wee while. Thank you very much. I've had a, a, a couple of weeks off. But, not um, to anything exciting? Um, well, not exciting. We had, obviously, obviously Easter, and uh, a lot of people will know that my sister's married to a, a lovely Greek guy called uh, Peter, anglicised version of um, Panos. And it was also Greek Easter this weekend, so we had everybody whose name ended in Os. We had Nikos, Christos, Panos, whoever, all the Osses were around <laughs> for, uh, for Greek Easter. And, of course, it's a massive celebration there. So they cooked about 20,000 lambs. Oh. And uh, 85,000 loaves of bread, so that was all gorgeous. And no Peter eggs, did then. No, no, Peter did. He did these gorgeous eggs, because it is it's almost as big a celebration as Christmas, if not even bigger. Oh. These beautiful painted eggs, which I actually brought in a picture. I don't know if they're going to show a little picture of my eggs, because I was so proud of them. Oh, Look at those! Yes, they are. They're gorgeous! Oh. And I was very them? impressed, texted them to all my friends. You get like a sort of a red dye, and then a sort of egg tattoo, as it's called in Greece. So a little tip for next year there. Yeah. <laughs> so that was fabulous, but the main news for this weekend, I had to come down, obviously, to go to work, we were at Newcastle, but uh, Tim and Louis went um, to the Newcastle match last night, and of course they were getting promoted. How we the lads? Yeah. 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 It was so, it was so exciting, and Louis was there in his little, uh, in his little, little oh, Newcastle look little top. Face. Look at his little Aww. face. And everybody went on the pitch for a celebration. So, I mean, it's obviously fantastic for the team, but it's great for, yeah. the, great for the morale of, this, of the city as well, you know. And they've got some of the best supporters in the, in the land, not that I'm biased, like, but... Um, well you, done, lads. When you talk about the football club, you go, really, Geordie? Yeah, really you Geordie. go, promoted. Well, yeah, I know. <laughs> 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 Terrible, yeah, I like that. And then if Jane McDonald's in, apparently, I'm going, hey, oh, love, fancy a couple of them. The only thing that happened to me, I have to tell you, is that I've been bitten Ooh. by a horse. No, um... <laughs> By a horse fly. Oh, no. Well, yes, I was, I was with my daughter. We were on a farm and we were with horses, and you know, horses have flies, and it went zzz, 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 like that. And I've got this little lump coming up. Oh, no. Right here. Oh, no. Oh, it really oh, funny, funny how it's got rid of all the bags under your eyes, though. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but only bit that eye. <laughs> Still got bags under that eye. <laughs> Oh, I hope it's horrid. Better. It's really kind of. Oh, no, horse, yeah, horse, horse, horse fly one. bites are nasty. Mm. Don't have one. No, no don't try don't not to. <laughs> Uh, now, we've just had a lovely long bank holiday, so I bet a few of you are looking ahead to booking your summer getaway. Uh, but according to a new poll, it seems us Brits have only, well, a couple of things on our minds when we book abroad. Uh, yes, cheap booze and no string sex top our list of the ideal breakaway, according to a holiday website. But have, have these ever been the top of your getaway agenda? And, and if not, what makes a good holiday for you, Denise? Why are you looking at me? <laughs> Cheap booze and no sex. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Come on, tell us. Confusing me with somebody else. I'm excited now. Tell me what you do um, with no strings. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have I have been known to have some cheap booze and occasional no strings jiggy jig in my time, <laughs> but. Um, but I haven't gone away for that for that reason. I mean, even when I was younger, you and, when, it and just, was in it, it just happens. It just happens. Yeah. It just happens. Um, it would happened, obviously past tense, Claire Sweeney. Um, but no, even <laughs> even in my younger um, unattached days, that was never the criteria for for a ho for a holiday. I mean, I would have I, I I would have hated to have gone on one of those you know holidays that cater for that sort of age group. That was never that was never my thing. It's just sometimes those things happened my my way, Claire. Very conveniently. Very conveniently. But to be be honest if I my criteria of going away on a holiday is to go away and get some rest so it has to it has to involve sunshine and it usually has to involve my family and I like going with my with my extended family and just having a chill but as I've got older I've also not I wouldn't say I've become a culture vulture exactly but I have wanted to sort of I, I could have at one point gone away and even if the most I mean it's terrible to say it's really ignorant but even if the most famous landmarks had been there I would have rather got me raised than yeah. gone pottering down now. to the church but now you can often see me with a little headscarf on around the uh, local church <laughs> Do you know what? I wish it had come my way <laughs> this what? type of holiday what the church or the no strings or oh, the no strings oh, the no strings <laughs> <laughs> you don't do no strings so. I don't I don't we were talking about this before yeah. when we, no I don't um, I've, ca I've kind of got to be in love, you know, but there we go. But um, my favourite holidays are with the girls or Gay Mardi Gras. I've just been to Sydney Gay Mardi Gras, which was fantastic. Oh, it was brilliant. It was really good fun. Then I had a bit of, bit of culture. I went to Bali, which was lovely. But uh, I'm all for the cheap booze. I think it's great. <laughs>
great with cheap booze. The thing is, if you're getting a fella chatting you up, you don't want them spending a fortune if you're going to blow them out at the end of the night, do you? <laughs> you feel all obliged, don't you? <laughs> yes. That's so nice. Yes, and your you. point is. <laughs> I've, I've just, I mean, obviously now, you know, married with, kil with children, with children, sometimes want to. Um, uh, I actually went away on a girly weekend a couple of weeks ago. My lovely friend Jane, um, she turned 25, plus 15 years experience. And so, <laughs> do math. And so we went to New York, and there were nine of us. Now, I only knew Jane really well. We were christened together. She's my best friend. Um, and another friend of hers, Alex. And others I'd kind of heard of but not really met before. So like I said, there were nine of us. Brilliant time. So much fun just going away with people that you don't necessarily know um, because you do things that are sort of different to what you can do with your normal group of mates. And so we, you'd we do it again? Oh, yeah, it was fab. I mean, we all kind of bunked in together. I mean, Jane and I were sharing a bed and Lottie was in the other bed. And we had, you know, what just like a... What those holidays? It wasn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, we did a bit of sightseeing, a bit of shopping. Would oh, you be cool about your chap going away with all of his mates once a year? Yeah, he, he quite often does. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, it's fine. Yeah, I, never, I, never, I didn't do any of that going away with mates. I haven't done that, so I just got the string and no jiggy-jiggy. <laughs> to say when we went to uh, Bangkok recently for Carol's birthday it was the first time I went I've been away with a whole group and I really enjoyed it with lo lots of things didn't we because well, we that was cool yeah we went to the temple we went to the temple didn't we, we did. together and we it was like that wasn't it we yeah. got to, and the lady came up to me and said not on loose women today in Bangkok at the top, and of, I, the temple. At the top of the temple <laughs> and she said you should have said oh my god I'm late oh <laughs> Okay, time for a short...